guys, what's up? It's Anna Louise, and oh my gosh, I am so excited about this video. Um, I literally can't believe I'm finally being able to film this video. I am so excited because I have a new pet. Oh my gosh. And I'm pretty sure you guys, of course, already know what it is. It is my leopard gecko, and today we are finally filming the video where I introduce you guys to her. So I'm so happy that this time is finally here. You guys are going to get to see her today and hear all about her. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into today's video. All right, you guys. So I waited um, eh, quite a, a little while, I would say, um, before I decided to film this video. And that is just because I really wanted my leopard gecko to get settled in to her enclosure and kind of get used to being here with me before I, you know, try to put the camera in her face and do stuff like that. Um, I still don't feel comfortable because of this is like where I film. This is at one end of my house. She's at the other end. Like I didn't feel comfortable, like I guess, you know, transporting her to where I am right here or anything like that. I don't want to stress her out. She's still so new to me and stuff like that. So I just decided to film this part, me just talking here, but I will obviously do overlays and I will show you her a lot. So don't worry, it's not just gonna be all me talking, but I didn't want to like transport her in here and like have her in here away, like too far away from her home, if you get what I'm saying. So anyway, I'm so excited to announce that my leopard gecko is a girl. Now I have called her her quite a bit, I feel like on some, on some videos and posts and stuff like that but then again I've also said just leopard gecko because I kind of went back and forth with not wanting to give away too much you know too much detail into her and so yeah but she is a girl uh, I actually did originally plan on getting a boy it's just for some reason what I got in my mind that I was gonna do I was just like I'm gonna get a boy I'm kind of used to boy animals so like I said I was going to get a boy and the boy was going to be born around about the 14th of April um, but when the boy was born he actually ended up not being the type that I was looking for and he had a sister born a few weeks prior to him that was <laughs> the type that I was looking for, the morph. Um, and so I went ahead and decided to go with her. Once again, the reason why I wanted a boy to begin with was I'm just used to boys, you know? Um, but I went ahead and went with her and I'm so glad that I did. So the type that I went for is Max Snow. I absolutely adore the black and white kind of look on leopard geckos, which I know when I was researching morphs and kind of looking into them and stuff that Super Snow stay pretty much, you know, black and white. They're not gonna have that yellow on them or anything like that. But Max Snows are predominantly black and white, but they do get yellow. And I thought I literally can have the best of both worlds, Hannah Montana, um, with a Max Snow because I'll get that black and white that I love, but also with a pop of color. So I kind of just thought from that that the Max Snow would be the perfect morph for me and what I really wanted to start my journey of owning leopard geckos with and actually before I even decided to buy from this breeder I actually visited her apartment um, a few weeks prior to actually getting my leopard gecko and by doing this I just really wanted to go over and see the conditions that the geckos were living in I wanted to talk to her personally in person instead of just over the phone to get an idea of my more just into like what she does with them and how she feeds them and what she feeds them and just you know her routine and get to actually see it in person and get to meet some of the leopard geckos in person too and I got to see some of the eggs that were incubating it was a really good experience and and so anyway I was really really happy I basically decided what I wanted and I went ahead and like I said decided to go with the little girl she was almost one month old when I got her she's a tiny tot like I've stated in some of my other videos I've done preparing for her but now without further ado let me go ahead and tell you her name so my leopard gecko's name is Dahlia so yeah 
It is spelled D-A-H-L-I-A, -A, and she is actually named after the Black Dahlia. Now, if you know anything about me, I love true crime so much. I love learning about true crime, and there is the case of the Black Dahlia. It is a very famous case about a lady named Elizabeth Short, and you can look up the story of the Black Dahlia, because obviously I'm not going to sit here and, you know, explain and talk about it but anyway it is a case that i really love to uh, you know research and stuff like that so i really want to name her dahlia and a dahlia is also a flower and my cat her name is rose i love her so much have my tattoo right here for her and i kind of just wanted to stick with the flower name as well um this that was kind of an added bonus though the real name or the real reason why i named her dahlia was because of the black dahlia but yeah i absolutely adore her i think that her name fits her so well i really enjoyed getting to learn her personality so far these past few weeks that i've had her she became one month old on easter around easter actually so that was exciting and she is so sweet and silly i feel like she's a drama queen i call her my little drama queen because she's quite dramatic she literally at one day just walked over to her water bowl put her foot in and then like slowly lifted it out and stared at it like it was the most grotesque thing she had ever done in her life she proceeded to do that three more times and then after that ran away and like laid down and started licking her foot I don't know, but I call her my little drama queen. I'm super excited though. I have been trying to bond with her recently. I have been trying to start that process and it has went really, really well. She crawls up onto my hand now and on my arm and I'm slowly like lifting her out, out of her enclosure and starting to work with that as well. I am also hand feeding her so that, you know, she gets used to that and that can be a kind of a bonding experience as well right now and everything is going really well and I'm making a lot of progression so I'm happy about that. Obviously since she's a baby she is pretty flighty but I do really try to obviously keep her around her tank so that she doesn't you know run and get away because that would be terrible because she's small and she's fast. But yeah I'm super excited like I said Max Snow is one of my favorite morphs and I'm really happy that I was able to get one and be able to get her locally so that if I have any kind of trouble you know or just anything I don't know could go wrong you know it, it's a local thing because I do live in a really small place which it's harder to find people who breed things and do any kind of thing like this around here. So I'm very glad about that. But anyway, like I did state in a previous video, she is in a 10 gallon right now. And for her age and size, I believe that that is the best choice for her right now because oftentimes too much space can bring, you know, nervousness and stress her out so i don't want to do that so right now she is in the 10 gallon but she's doing so well she loves her hot hide she literally always stays in her hot hide i literally never find her in her cool hide which is just weird to me but maybe i just don't see her i think i've literally only seen her in her cool hide once um if i do have her hot hide out if it because sometimes I do take her hot hide out when I'm trying to bond with her. It's just easier that way. She will go, try to go to her cool hide. But other than that, never see her in there. Another thing I have picked up on where she likes to poop. For some reason, she likes to poop on top of her hot hide. And it gets stuck in the green plants. And on the back of the hide so thanks dahlia <laughs> she definitely is a good eater i am proud about that like i said i have been hand feeding her as a bonding technique it has went really well and she's never like refused food or anything like that she eats very well and so i'm happy about that too and yeah just overall everything has been going really really well with her i love her so much and i cannot wait to watch her grow cannot wait to get her more used to me and to be able to like really have her out and stuff like that and just know that she's happy and not stressed but i really cannot wait to see her spots go in because obviously she's a baby so she is like banded right now the stripes will go away and she will get that leopard look this is an actual special treat because i never get to see dahlia out i feel like she's just now started to like come out and really really explore which makes me really really happy because that means she's getting even more used to her new home so i'm so proud thank you dahlia i don't know i just thank her but i mean i guess it's relevant <laughs> i'm just so glad that she's you know starting to get used to it so i'm proud of the little girl 
so proud of her. But the, yeah, this is her hot hide. And that's her favorite hide ever. This is her cool hide. Never see her in it. Or, <laughs> or her little bitty human hide. Hello, Dahlia. From what I can tell, I feel like she's going to start shedding soon. She's starting to get a little bit more of a dull look, which means shed. But yeah, I really love her and I'm so happy and I hope that you guys love her too. I'm so glad that I finally have got to show her to you guys. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you love Dahlia. Let me know down below what you think about her. And other than that, I do have merchandise out. So if you want to check that out, here's the website right here. And I do have a P.O. box just in case you guys want to send me anything. I open everything that I receive on camera. This is the address for that right here. And other than that, make sure to follow me on all my social medias and give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, which you can do by hitting my face right here. And you can watch another one of my videos by clicking right over here. And it would mean the world to me if you would do so. And I hope that you guys have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this. And I will see you guys in my next video.